Happy Wednesday, everybody. Welcome to Kristen's Nuggets of Knowledge. I am Kristen Maka with Futurity First Insurance Group. Today's nugget of knowledge is insulin. I know, you're probably thinking, what? Well, I'm going to go over the importance of insulin for our bodies and then smoothly slide it into the importance in Medicare. Are you ready to go grab a couple of nuggets of knowledge today? I know I am. Shall we go? Vamanos! Come on! To be able to function, our bodies need energy. Duh! And we get that energy from food. Well, our bodies are made up of 37, approximately, 0.2 trillion cells. All right, and each one of these cells needs to be able to absorb energy that we get from the food that we eat. All right, and this energy is glucose, simple sugar. All right, and our cells can't absorb the glucose without insulin. Insulin. Whenever we eat, our pancreas puts out insulin through our bloodstream and in our bloodstream it gets hooked on to our cells insulin receptors and after that happens magically a door opens and the energy can be absorbed into our cells ha ah, that was the science part of today's nugget of knowledge but i bet you're wondering <laughs> What does this have to do with Medicare? Well, I'll tell you, one out of every three Medicare individuals has diabetes, and diabetes is one of the biggest medical conditions that utilizes prescription insulin. That is 3.3 million Medicare individuals that need to utilize at least one type of insulin. So that can be important in a financial plan, especially when either the vial or the pen can cost it anywhere from a hundred to four hundred dollars per pen or vial, which may last them 30 days. That can be very, very hurtful for Medicare individuals who are on a fixed income. And that is why the current president has been trying to be able to help out this type of situation just because so many Medicare individuals are affected by it. So they've created a model. Now this model is called the Part D Senior Savings Model and it's voluntary so whatever plan sponsor like Aetna, WellCare, Humana, United Healthcare, you name it. The plan sponsors as well as the manufacturers are agreeing to a particular price structure because what they want to do is not only decrease the out of pocket expenses for the Medicare individuals for the whole year, they also want to levelize the amount that they're paying for their prescription every month. There are four different phases to a prescription drug plan, which you know what? Sounds like a great thing to do for next week's video. But you've got these four different phases. And for those plants and those manufacturers that aren't participating in this, costs for insulin can, can jump and bounce around everywhere. It could be 75 for the first couple months, then it could be 25 for the next, then it could be 150 for the third quarter of the year, and it could then jump back to 25. For the last quarter, it just all depends on how much money that you're spending towards your prescription drugs. And that is why, because insulin is such an important part in those individuals' lives to be able to live, why the government and these manufacturers and the sponsors have come together and are participating in this model and have created this model. And so what it's done is for the first three out of the four phases, you pay a steady $35 maximum copay for a 30 day supply of insulin. How wonderful is that? That is absolutely phenomenal. 
So not only are we decreasing our maximum out of pocket for the whole entire year, but we're also levelizing our costs. So as I said, for those individuals on a steady fixed income, this kills two birds with one stone. And that stone is the Part D senior savings model. Out of all the plans across the United States, 1,750 plans have decided to participate in this model, which is absolutely phenomenal. However, this means though you have to do your due diligence and make sure that during this year's annual election period, so that time in October, November, and December where you can change plans, that you're looking at your plan to make sure that if you take insulin, that that plan is going to be the right plan for you and be able to help save you money. Now, not only this year is most certainly special to do that, but every year you should be looking at and reviewing your prescription drug plans to make sure that you are on the best plan for your particular situation. So call me, call your agent, make sure that that gets reviewed during this annual election period. I hope you've learned a little nugget of knowledge today. If this information has helped you, please go down there and click that subscribe button. I will be posting many more videos in the future about Medicare as well as insurance and retirement planning. Thank you so much for your time today. Have a blessed rest of your week and we will see you next week. Adios.